Hi, how are you? I love croquettes. It's a wonderful tapa that everybody loves. The serrano ham ones are very popular in Spain, of course. However, at home, I make them out of canned tuna, as they are very tasty, no fishy at all, and more people can eat them. Let's make some today. Let's review the ingredients. We'll need tuna and olive oil, dried 4 ounces or 113 grams, 3 quarters of a cup or 180 grams of thinly minced onion, breadcrumbs, 5 tablespoons or 75 grams or all-purpose flour, ground nutmeg, salt to taste, 2 tablespoons or 30 grams of unsalted butter, 2 jumbo or extra-large eggs, plenty of olive oil for deep frying, and 1 and a half cups or 340 milliliters of milk. In a medium-sized pan over medium heat, melt the butter and when it is bubbling, add the onion. Add two pinches of salt, stir, lower the heat. When the onion is golden, add the milk. And the tuna that has to be shredded into small pieces. Shred any remaining chunks of tuna with a spoon. A little bit more of salt and add two generous pinches of ground nutmeg. Stir. Turn the heat to medium again until the content starts bubbling. Then turn the heat back to low. Now add about two tablespoons of flour by spreading it on the mixture and stir vigorously until everything blends. Then add two more tablespoons of flour and repeat the process. The mixture is getting thicker. Add the remaining flour and repeat the operation again. Okay, the content is well mixed. This is the bechamel for the croquettes. Transfer it to a plate and let it cool down. Next step, shaping the bechamel into croquettes. I just used my hands to do so, but you can help yourself also with a spoon if that's easier for you. As you can see, I'm smoothing the sides too. Don't make the croquettes very big. We are going to coat them with egg and breadcrumbs later, so they will increase their volume. Okay, this is the last one. Whip the eggs thoroughly. So let's start the coating process. Dip the croquette into the egg and then coat it with breadcrumbs. This is the moment when I finish shaping the croquettes. Another one. Once we finish with all of them, we need to repeat this process once again to make sure the breadcrumbs layer is consistent. Then, let's place the plate in the fridge with a plastic wrap on top for at least half an hour. Now I'm deep frying the croquettes. Don't over fry them, as the crust will get tough. The croquettes is a typical tapa you'll find in so many bars and restaurants in Spain. Sometimes it's served with mayo or alioli on the side, as shown in the image. Mmm, buenísimo! That's all for today. Thank you so much for watching and see you in the next episode of Buenísimo with Daniel Buenos. Till then, have fun. Hasta luego.